Okay, in the last video, we ended at this stage where we have all of the balls moving at the exact same pace and the exact same moment in time. What I want to do now is slightly offset each one of these. So I'm going to say not uh, disable this show selected. And now you can see that we have all of our animations on the animation timeline. I'm going to drag this up a bit so it's a bit clearer. And then what I want to do is the ball horizontal will be our first animation. So we want this one to be the start. I essentially want this one to start and then the other should follow progressively. So we're going to go and select ball up 30. And as you can see, all of the keyframes are selected if we hit um, ball up 30 at this location. And then I'm just going to move them along by five frames. So we can do that by holding down control. Actually, no, holding down alt and hitting right arrow key. And I'm just doing that five times. And then we're going to go down for this one. So now you can see, okay, we currently have this problem. We're going to have to do this one 10, this one 15, this one um, 20. So instead, let's just select um, all four of these, or at least all of these like this. And then while holding down Alt, we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm only going to select the bottom three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then just continue to do that. And then the last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then as you can see, um, our work area is a bit too small now. The animation goes all the way to the end here. So let's just extend the work area to be at the end, and then hit play. Drag this down a bit. Cool. There is one problem though. It seems like one of these are a little bit out of sync. Ah, as you can see, this one is the last one to start. Okay, so what we actually want to do is we want to change the position between ball down 60 and ball down 30. So we can't drag these, like I'm trying to drag them, that doesn't make a difference. What we'd actually need to do is in the hierarchy, if we go to design and let's just close all of these so it's a bit more clear. I'm just going to put ball down 60 in front of ball down 30, jump back to animate and then increase this animation timeline. Now you see we have this issue. This one is jumping like, uh, this one is going up by 10 frames instead of going by five. And this one is um, behind by five frames. So we're going to select this, just put it that, um, just pressing Alt and go one, two, three, four, five. And then this one go back by five. And uh, let's take this down and see the animation. And perfect, we have a rotating animation.